Massive boost for India's defense self-reliance government signed 6,800 crore rupees with HAL for trainer aircraft. Indian Air Force to get 70 HAL built HTT-40 trainer aircraft. It's a big announcement coming in right there. Big Atmanirbhar move in the military aviation space. It's a new dawn indeed for Indian combat pilot training. The latest coming in right there. Shivarur gets us the latest in terms of India's defense boost. Shiv, this is a big Atmanirbhar move coming in. And what does this really mean for the defense sector in India with the government signing 6,800 crore rupees with HL for trainer aircraft? Uh, this is an extremely significant uh, deal that the Indian government has just signed with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited uh, for 70 HTT-40 uh, basic trainer aircraft, Chaiti. The HTT-40 is basically going to be the first step of pilot training. It will be the first aircraft that pilot cadets that go on to fly fighter aircraft uh, will be training on. All manner of basic training will happen on these aircraft. Uh, remember, India has always depended, uh, you know, it, it used to have an indigenous aircraft called the Deepak after which India had to look abroad for even as something as simple as a basic trainer when we uh, you know imported uh, uh, Swiss Pilatus aircraft that got embroiled in a you know in, in a defense bribery scandal uh, which is still ongoing and part of an investigation and therefore the Indian Air Force saw the need for a wholly indigenous solution an indigenous basic trainer aircraft now this entire program started over a decade ago it's taken lots of twists and turns but now the Indian Air Force has finally realized it needs this aircraft because the benefits of having an Indian built trainer aircraft are too many to ignore and that's why the HTT 40 which has matured very very admirably it's an Indian aircraft where nearly 60% of the aircraft is fully Indian the engine is from abroad but over the next few years the indigenous content of this aircraft will increase to up to 70% it's completely made in India designed by Indian aviation scientists uh, you know all manner of maintenance etc will happen right here in country. So also, so there's also another problems. interesting point where the opposition has been hitting out of the government for weakening HAL. Now in the light of this development, how, do, how does one read this statement? Uh, that's a great question, Chaiti. You know, the allegations that the opposition had made against uh, the government as far as HL were concerned, uh, you know, were, were, were completely short-sighted. They were ill-informed. Some of them were completely baseless and fake, as a matter of fact. But that was part of a political campaign. The allegations about, uh, you know, HL being cheated out of contracts was ridiculous because, you know, those of us who cover defense know very well that HAL's order books have been overflowing for many, many years and decades. In fact, HAL enjoys an enormous monopoly monopoly as far as aircraft manufacturer in, uh, manufacture in the country is concerned. So the problem as far as HAL uh, was concerned is actually the exact opposite of what the Congress and Rahul Gandhi had been alleging since 2019 about them being cheated out of aircraft orders. The problem was actually that HAL had too much of a monopoly and it dominated the military aircraft manufacturing scene which is something that has been addressed now with private sector companies like the Tatas coming into aviation manufacture with the C295 deal. Having said that, HAL still continues to be the prime, uh, you know, airframe, uh, airframer in the country. They still build all of our military aircraft, uh, or at least most of them. And that's the reason why this particular contract, Jaiti, is not only prestigious, but very, very crucial. This particular aircraft program with 70 aircraft on order will create a huge number of jobs. It creates a very buzzing and active production line. It also gives HAL designers and aviators, uh, you know, a great deal of elbow room to improve the aircraft and come up with the next big product for the Indian Air Force. So the, the allegation by Congress, uh, the, you know, MPs and especially Rahul Gandhi has always been that government is not paying the dues owed to HAL and hence financially weak weakening HAL. Now when you have a project of this size, which is 6,800 crore rupees, uh, what does the payment pipeline also from the government's end look like if we have source base information on that? You know, the, the information about, uh, you know, uh, about HAL being bled or HAL being cheated out of finances or being weakened financially, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's laughable. It's beyond a joke. If you look at HAL's revenues over the last, last few years, uh, you know, they've, they've actually exceeded and, uh, you know, record revenues and net profits over the years. So, uh, 
uh, any Congress allegations about uh, HAL being financially weakened, uh, like I said, it's beyond ludicrous. It doesn't even bear uh, addressing because uh, those facts have actually been fact-checked, busted over and over again, uh, including by us here on India Today since 2019. What Rahul Gandhi and, uh, H, uh, and the Congress were talking about was pertaining to the Rafal deal. Uh, and I, in fact, uh, in that year, had spoken directly to the HAL leadership and talked about it. And uh, it was configured completely differently. So uh, Congress had it completely wrong. Their intention was, of course, to try and make it look like there was a corruption, uh, you know, a scandal as far as Rafal was concerned. That was also, uh, you know, something that never really was established. And we all saw how that resulted. But HAL on its part is going to be very happy because, uh, you know, they, they are allergic to all the political crossfire that's happened in their name since 2019. So they're going to be quietly very, very happy that they're still getting these big deals. Because remember, political ugliness, political crossfire is bad for business. It usually means that the government might panic and not, uh, you know, not sign contracts very fast. This government has done just the opposite. They, um, uh, Prime Minister Modi last month inaugurated the country's largest helicopter facility. And where that's exactly is going to be what I'm coming up to. There has been a consistent order. push coming in from the government as far as Atmanirbhar move in the defense sector is concerned. Now, outside of this, what is the other order pipeline looking like going forward in terms of giving a push to Atmanirbhar Bharat? Good question. Uh, Chethi, apart from the HCT-40, uh, uh, India builds almost all of its, uh, you know, utility military helicopters uh, of the medium size. Uh, 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 many of those, hundreds of the, the such helicopters are going to be built at this new facility near Bengaluru, which the Prime Minister inaugurated last month. The Tejas is India's very own fighter jet. Uh, 83 plus 40 are on order. Many more are going to be ordered. Uh, there's a fifth generation fighter program, 200 of which will be ordered whenever that aircraft comes online. Uh, there is a twin engine deck based fighter aircraft, uh, you know, that the DRDO and HAL are developing. That's going to be the Indian Navy's future fighter. So the, 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 the overall mission plan really is to try and reduce as much as possible India's impulse to import combat aircraft. It's as simple as that. For all of these decades, India has by default needed to import combat aircraft because we simply don't have the cap capability to manufacture our own. That has changed now. We have make our own fighter aircraft. We make our own helicopters, including attack helicopters. We'll soon have, uh, you know, uh, you know, heavy lift helicopters of our own. We'll soon have advanced, uh, uh, you know, uh, jet trainers of our own. Uh, we'll soon have, uh, you know, a deck-based fighter jet and hopefully a fifth-generation yes. fighter as well. So uh, the, the the overall plan is reduce dependency on other economies. If you need to spend yeah. huge bucks like we do on defense, do it right here in the Indian economy, and that's what this deal we're talking about really is about. Thank you so much, Shiv, for that extensive report right there. Uh, Shivarud bringing us a breaking story on how this is a massive boost for India's defense self-reliance. We'll continue tracking more developments.